Hi guys. Hi guys, so we are going to start, um, first we are going to talk about now about WAVE, that it's a system accounting program, and um, first I want to present myself, like I'm Camila. I'm um, LCBB Finance and Legality at IS Lima in Peru. I from Peru. I'm 21 years old. I study business administration. I love dogs, and my birthday is in March. So that's a quick presentation about myself, and to let me introduce. And now we are going to do uh, start with the presentation about WAVE. Uh, first, we are going to like a quick review of what we are going to talk about today. We are going to understand what is WAVE, the importance of the program, and why WAVE. And a checklist about the functions we have here, and how to register and log in, uh, in this program. So if you have any doubts or any question, you can write there and I will solve it. So first, what is WAVE? Um, WAVE is an online program that exists to you to relieve a lot of work, not only to you, also with the members, uh, with the smart integrate and small accounting software. Um, and also uh, makes you run more efficiently your entity and whatever and um, you can do whatever you want instead of um, instead of to to follow some some steps it's really it's really like a free program you can do, use so why WAVE? Oh, instead of that, why use a program? First, because we have a correct accounting. Then we have professional accounting. It um, we do not with no uh, knowledge about it. If we national transition transition because everything is online, so it's easier and and quick to make the transition. Also because it's easy to share with between LCs, so the LCs can know, uh, if you are an MCVP, the LCs can know what is happening uh, because it's easy. So also happens the same with LCVP's finance, that can be easy to share with your members and also with the rest of your uh, board, your exclusive board. Also, because it's easier to look in for an internal auditor. If you have this, it's easier to them to find the information uh, in the time and what they are looking, instead of uh, have so much take so much time with that. Uh, also, because you it let you save documents for membership criteria 
and you don't have to be an accounting or accountant to to account to do this because it's it's not a requirement. You need to be a good at accounting, and also because it lets you manage more uh, in an efficient way and also with transparency so it's easy to let them to to let them uh, see what is happening and what you are doing instead of instead of them uh, start asking you questions and everything then what you can do here well you basically can track incomes and expenses expenses uh, with recipe scanning or maybe tools and bank connections so everything is in the same place and it's easier to connect with everything uh, it makes you create and send professional invoice and track out the status of them you can also use wave accounting tools as much as you want because it's free you don't have to be preoccupied because of that and it simply connect wave securely with the with your bank account like like i said you can connect everything you have instead uh, in order to track your incomes and expenses not only with your bank account, also if you manage PayPal uh, incomes also and other resources of data you don't have to enter yourself, you can do it by this this uh, program that is WAVE. And also, and the most important thing I think, is that you can do real accounting for non-accountants. So, like I said, you don't need like a huge um, amount of information or hu uh, be perfect uh, in accounting because this this um, this online program it makes you to be better and not have to to use a lot of information. So, why wave exactly wave? Because it's in English and it's like a language that most of us manage. Because customer lists of accountants, we have like like the like a list of our clients. We can export to Excel. So if you want to have a report or something, you can export there and then you can share to members or whatever whoever you want to share we also have transparency with the management like i said before wave allows you to do this also we we can achieve bills here like all the all the papers we have we can take a photo and upload it there so you if for like a mistake or something you lose those papers you can have it there and you can uh, have a copy of them you have education videos and support also in wave wave allows you to if you don't know how to manage uh, or make uh, improvement with with WAVE, you can uh, see the videos and the support team there is going to uh, it's going to help you with with solving your doubts and also it can makes you to to do a good webinar with your members also to how to manage WAVE. Why also WAVE because it's free and it's online so it's easier to share the access of that and it's simple like i said it's not it's a program that it's not not 
it's not a requirement to be an accountant. So it's simple for the people that it's not accountant and also simplifies your life. So how can we register here? First you have to log in in waveapps.com and there it's going to appear like a like the image we we see there. So you have to put your email of your entity. It's better that you put the email of your entity because here if you like when you finish your period you can have continuity with we are what we you were doing with the next with the with the people that is going to be next to you. So um so if you don't have like a email of, of your entity it's better you to to create one to so you can put all the information there and it's also like easier to share. Then you have to set a power a password. So I I personally I recommend you to that password is going to be related uh, with your entity. I don't know maybe you put the name of your country or something that is easy to remember and it's easier to do the transition also. Then when you already register the next the next um, the next uh, see you are going to see it's uh, to get um, to get com so you you put there the name of your entity like for example IS Peru IRS Colombia I don't know the name of your entity and then you can set what you do like when in the place that says what does your business do you put there what you're doing so there makes you it's not a thing that it's going to be perfect and it's going to be like what we do we are going to find what we are what we really do no but maybe you can you can put something that is related what we do and then you put let's go and the first thing that's going to appear it's one uh, one like your account and then you have and then you have this that it's um, makes you the your dashboard when you is going like your timeline what what what's happening on, on your account all the transactions like for example there you can start putting lo all your all your transactions like income uh, expenses then the other thing then the other thing is the invoices you can here to you can here to process invoices like as you want and also it's bills yes Javier it's not it's other non-profits I put it there I when I set my account I put that but it's depending on on the guys that you you put that but it's preferred to put no other non-profits uh, like I said before, bills. You you can generate bills there. Also the recipes. If you want to start tracking uh, in Wave, you can do it there. Like you have reports. If you want a report, I like I said, you can do it, and you can have a document when it's reported all the things that you're doing there and also you can do there like for example uh, the cards or to see like your recent activities or your last final like your last final check like like 
their sales financial snapshot is like the last thing you make it's going to have like a quick review of what you doing until there so if I, I want to know if you have any doubts about this No, so okay. so okay, let's go. So the disadvantages of this program is not we don't have that program that doesn't have a lot of disadvantages. It's just two that it's uh, you can use it if you don't have internet because it's online and also to use it in your phone or in any devices you have to you have to use internet and also if you don't manage english english so well it's it could be a little difficult uh, to understand everything that is there so for that i recommend you to see all the videos that wave post instead of solve all your doubts you have and also makes you see how you are going how you how it's going to be if you do uh, the things that they are saying to you it's going to be easy it's going to take time it's going to I don't know it's going to solve your your doubts and then how can and the thing that most of people, most of you have doubts, how can I adapt my entity to not suffer with this? Because it's not easy to to change from one thing that is already happening in your entity to a new one. So for that, first, the people that is going to be the head of this, like for example, MCVPs, have to learn how to use as much as they as as much as they want and can and take advantage of all the functions you have here because here you can do whatever you want it's just matter of how you can understand all the program and for that as I said you can have uh, all the videos in the internet and also in web. Then you have to start using like regularly, like every day, and then make a training session for the people that is uh, with whom you work. For example, if you are MCVP with the LCVPs, if you are an LCVP with your members or PMs or NSTs or key members, the people with you work you have to do training sessions after you learn and understand the whole program. It's better because if they have any doubts or they have any problems, you can solve it and maybe you can do more efficient the time you are using this. Uh, all the training sessions has to be of how to use it. and like the specific things you have to know about this program because all the tools that we have here maybe for one entity to another differs of the amount of functions you use here for example maybe just one entity do it for the reports and the other used to track invoice bills and recipes so the amount of functions you use about uh, of wave depending on your entity so it's better if you do this training session with the key information that your members or your lcvps or your pms nsts can use instead of them get confused with all the program and with all the transition then if you have to use it for a trial period like i i personally want use it for one month so 
if you use it for one month and it's working and you see that it's working, it's is um it it is it's a good thing. So uh, it's also let the people that you work with get used to it and not uh, just to have like the training session and then they never use it. So it's not worth it that you are doing all these things in wave and the others are not. And also in transition period, make it also with wave. So your successor has to do all the transition also in wave to learn how to use, uh, teach them how to use it. So they they can. They can make it easy and maybe they can use more functions depending on how they try to make it better. Then as last outputs, I want to um, know if anyone has dubs about how to log in or maybe how to do this uh, this like the things we said here how to adapt your entity Yes, it's secure because it lets you um, it lets you put like it's like PayPal something like PayPal that it is not direct connect with your bank account. So it's safe 100% to use there and to link your bank account. But also we have you have to be careful to not uh, use it with some other links and everything because as you as you see every day like technology can can do things like in a bad way so if you do it like like the regular person like using wave like the real real web page it's going to be safe for your bank account yes any bank it's it's up to it's up to you to use any bank. Yes, it's a really really good uh, tool that you have to like to learn how to use it first, and then try to get used to it quickly, and try to start doing it and using it. Yes, the transaction is editable. You you can use it as as your entity requires. That's why I said that the functions you have in one entity can be different from another another. So you can use it as your entity requires. Yeah, you can link all the bank accounts and um, PayPal and whatever you have as a media of pay. So you can link as much as you want, like bank accounts, PayPal, everything. Like the reports, you have like a models of reports that Wave gives you. So uh, it's depending of how you make your account in there. Uh, 
Uh, I use this in my LC to make a report of quarter. So I send them uh, like in any LC meeting we have. I show them what is happening, uh, how how I'm, how the things are going on on my LC. No, there is no restriction. You're welcome, Andres. I just started using it at I think three months ago. Yes. So I I tried to use it first but it was really hard for me to start because here we are not using it on a national level. So just my LC and to make my members to understand all the whole system. It was a little bit difficult, but um, they are using it now, so it's 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 good. I didn't get your question, Andrea. Can you please? Yes, it it uh, you can send invoice to your clients. It works like PayPal. I don't know if someone used PayPal here that you generate a link and then this link is, is sent to the email of the, the person you want to charge. So then uh, you can see if they pay or not. With the report, no, because after they generate the report, it can send you to your email so you can see what is happening in your LCs. It's it is set. All the accounts are set there, but you can you you, you can manage that and you can uh, adapt to your entity. The difficulties I have. Uh, it's that. Like I said, a national level, we are not using. So I was the first to use in my LC, and to use it in my LC, uh, first I have to train all my members to use it, and also my LC to use it because uh, it's not only depending on finance; it's depending also on the other areas to to do a good account. So. 
I have to first train my members and then train the rest of the LC. So it, for me, it was a little bit uh, long the time I have to do training sessions. But then after they they know how to use it, it was easy, and then it's fast that uh, do the count. You're welcome, guys. Is anyone have another question? Like this, this webinar is expected to la to be one hour. So if you have more questions, we can solve it here. Okay, so that's... So just to if like, there's no more questions. I I put like a final message for you to the future belongs to the competent get good get better and be best so with this I mean that you have to start improving uh, on your not only in your entities in a, but also in your own life to make it Better if you have any innovative ideas, use it. Try try as much as you as you can, like the things you want. Because if you don't use it and if you don't try it, you are not sure that it's going to work and or is not going is not going to work. So for that, I let you this final message for you. And if you have any doubts or with other topics or you want to contact us, you can subscribe to, subscribe to our YouTube channel. There is the link. Uh, we also like on Facebook. You can send us um, email to that uh, to that um, address and also you can check your wiki on isx.ec and go to finance and legal and uh, those are the gfb channels in the wiki you can use and you can uh, find more presentations about topics and anything you 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 need also you you can use those materials to do training sessions and if you have any doubts of how I manage this in my LC or something about the wave you can contact me on facebook with my name and my last name you can send me an email to to that address or you can write me on whatsapp to this uh, number 
Uh, this presentation is going to be uploaded to the wiki, so you can find there also the information. And um, I think that that's all for for now. I don't I don't know if you or some people have more doubts or questions. Yes, this this recorder uh, presentation is going to be uploaded. So when it this ends, it's going to be uploaded to the wiki. So there you can find it as the rest of the uh, webinars. So if no one has more dabs, I think that's everything for today. Thank you guys for coming and to join this uh, webinar. If, uh, if you have any dabs, or as I said, you can contact me or you can see and all the channels of the GFB. So, I hope to see you in another session and thank you so much. Have a nice day also.